Hello and welcome to the section of Calculus Extra Practice with Integration. So what we're going to do now is continue getting our skills ready and practicing problems dealing with integration by substitution, which again is one of the most uh, incredibly useful parts of calculus to get your integration problems done. So let's just go ahead and dive in. We'll do a few problems here of increasing complexity. What if we had the integral of x times cosine of x squared dx? Now, just by staring at this, you can see that it doesn't fit any form of what we've done so far. I mean, first of all, we have the cosine of something, so we kind of know how to integrate that, but the argument inside is not cosine x, it's cosine x squared. So that's different than anything we've learned before. And then if that wasn't enough, we've got all this stuff multiplied by some other variable x outside. So that destroys any commonality with anything we've seen as far as like a plug, you know, plug and chug kind of table. So you're going to have to use some kind of substitution to transform this integral into a form that you do know how to solve. So again, like we did in the last section, what we want to do is find and set u equal to some part of this integral. And we're hoping that when we do that, and when we plug in for u, what we've defined, and when we find du, we plug in for, for that, or substitute in for dx and make it in terms of du, that the integral will suddenly become something we know how to solve. And a lot of it just comes with practice, I'll be honest with you. That's why we do a lot of these problems. But what I see here is I'm trying to give you some hints along the way, right? I'm trying to give you some experience to kind of get you ahead of the game a little bit rather than just seeing a 50 problems and then figuring this out for yourself. What we have here is we have an x out front. We have a cosine, which we kind of know how to integrate, but it's, a, it's in a weird form. And what we have on the inside is an x squared. And I think if you recall, when I introduced substitution, I told you that a lot of times, a lot of times when you simplify your integral, right, and put it in terms of u, you should get some kind of cancellation that makes it simple in the process of doing that. We're gonna see that in this problem. I want you to notice something and then we'll work the problem and then we'll come back and circle around and show you what I mean. Notice that inside here we have an x squared. Just as a mental exercise, if I take the derivative of x squared, what do I get? What do I get if I take the derivative of x squared? I'll get two times x, two x, right? Now notice, so I have two x if I were to take the derivative of the inside. Notice I have a single x on the outside, right? What I'm gonna try to point out to you as we get to the end of this problem is that you can kind of look and see, all right, if I take the derivative of the inside, I'm gonna get two x, right? that x is gonna cancel in the end with the x on the outside. So it's gonna eliminate part of the problem here that we have, which is this x sitting out here. So let me just point that out to you and show you that. Let's work the problem, we'll circle back around and you'll see uh, that. I'm trying to give you some experience with you know, what to look for um, because it's a pretty big clue. What I want to do is set u is equal to x squared. The reason I want to do that is because du with respect to x is 2x, we just said that, taking that derivative. And then if I solve this stuff for dx, what I'm going to get is one over 2x du. Make sure you understand that. Just move the dx over here and then move the 2x over here. So solving for dx is one over 2x du. So ultimately, what I want to do is I want to take the dx and put it in here and I want to take the u and put it into what I've substituted for. So what I should have is, I have x, I haven't changed that at all, but I have the cosine of, but now I have transformed it, so it's cosine of u. And dx I've solved for, given this substitution, it's one over two x du. Now you see what we've done here. We've created a situation by this very specific substitution, so that when I put it all in there, this x actually cancels with the x out in front. And I want to stop here for a second and make sure you understand that the only reason that cancellation happens is because we chose u correctly. We chose u to be x squared. And this problem is set up specifically so that when you do that, the x's cancel. So what you're left with at the end of the day, once that cancellation happens, is the one half is all multiplied out here. So the one half can come out outside of the integral. All right, and on the inside, all you have is cosine of u du. And you know how to integrate that because we've talked about integration of pure trig functions. And the integral of cosine is, so we have one half, the integral of cosine is the sine of u, plus a constant because there's no limits of integration. We always have a constant of integration. 
sine of u. But that's not our answer because that's in terms of u. And we know that we already said u is equal to x squared. So what we have is 1 half times the sine of x squared plus a constant of integration. This is the answer, 1 half sine of x squared plus a constant of integration.